Hey everyone, Mango7 Royal here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And today we're going to be going over the Epic 7 Labyrinth Team Optimizer version 2.0.1. Yes, I did it. It took me like 10 times to get that intro right. I kept screwing that name up. Um, done by... Ah, uh, your name. Why couldn't you make it easier? Badandan. Dan. But Dan Dan, uh, he's on Reddit, he's on Discord, and the link to this will be in the description below. Keep in mind, if you do have this optimizer already, if you already use this, you'll need to go to the new one, which is on um, epic7tools.com slash home slash slab morale optimizer in the description below. You will not get these features on the regular old site that uh, you may or may not have been using. Anyways, I've been uh, talking to him a little bit. I sent him a PM being like, you know, I really want this. I don't know how to do it myself. I would love if you could do it. And um, sure enough, like a week or two later, here we have it. And I'm so excited to show you guys this. So um, give him all the credit. He is insane. Such a great application. So the main thing we have added is there's a lot of backend stuff now. Um, not everything needs to be calculated on the on, on our side of things. Like I personally before added everybody to the list of my roster and then um, calculate it and it would often crash because uh, you can't really expect that much calculation to be done on our side uh, because of our back end now everything is basically instant and you can do those higher calculations um, pretty easily and he's also I believe working on a full list of every single camp combination possible um, that should probably be done maybe in a couple hours by from what I understand so you'll probably see something different on this site in a little bit but I wanted to show it off now so the main thing we can do here um, I found when I was adding everybody to my team list was that I could never really get a viable team like often I would hit uh, just calculate like this um, we have to hit zero there um, that's another thing by the way Bananan. if you're watching this if you get calculate with nothing here it won't calculate it might be easier just to have that as zero if that happens um but we hit calculate goes almost instantly it also says uh the stipulations here but the problem is um geez and of course right now everything is like perfect and there's healers everywhere on these teams but usually when I did this, there were no healers or anything like this, and I would not be able to use any of these teams. Like, I get teams like this. Um, Charlotte, Crow, Vildred, Violet. Like, that team I cannot bring to raid. It's not something I can do. So what I was doing then is I was going over to Tamarin or something like that and then calculating and being like, yeah, that's cool. And then I would go from Tamarin and I'd try um, Destina or something like this. And then we'd go like this. And, you know, I, I would have to cycle through the different Soul Weavers instead of trying to find the units I want. So now we can do it another way. We can do, must have at least one Soul Weaver. And now this uses uh, the backend server. And then we can choose a DPS we want. Like, let's say we want to use Vildred and a Soul Weaver. It doesn't matter what Soul Weaver because, honestly, um, you're just going for morale. Most Soul Weavers can heal it, no problem. And we can hit Calculate. And then it shows you all the teams with Vildred that also have a healer in here. So we've got Vildred, um, Dien, Dizzy, Isaria, Vildred, Angelica, Blaze, Dingo, Charlotte. We've got so many cool things. And we can also do stuff like, um, let's take uh, b -b 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 Araminta as well. <laughs> or if you're really new... If you're really new and you have a bunch of Soul Weavers and you've got like five star Soul Weavers you want to put in, you can lock in Tamarin here and then you can say must have at least two Soul Weavers. And now what this is going to do is have Tamarin 100% on your team and then show you the options with at least one more Soul Weaver in there. And then um, others is DPS. So if you want to have two Soul Weavers and you don't have any Knights and two DPS, you can calculate that off and this will show you teams with um, two healers and two DPS. Uh, although Wander Silk is kind of taken over here. Um, but we've got Tamarin, we've got Rin, and then the DPS, Tamarin Angelica, then the DPS. Um, as you can see here, pretty much exactly what we were looking for. And let's say um, you really want to run with a Clurry, for example, and a healer. So what you can do is must have at least one Soul Weaver, must have at least one Knight. Um, or Aureus instead of Clory, for example, and then must have at least two others. So now we can hit calculate here, and now we'll have a team that holds an Aureus. It also will have a team with a healer. 
uh, and then it will also um, have the two DPS or two others, so basically any non-knight or non-healer, um, and have them on your team as well. So this team allows me to use Blaze Dingo for a healer. Obviously not the best situation right here, um, but this one will work. Angelica, Charlotte, Vildred, Violet, that's a really good team for just clearing a normal raid out. It'll be really quick with two AoEs, Violet, Tank if you want, and Angelica healing. So you get the idea. There's so many cool things you can do with this now, and I think you're going to get even more improvements as we go along. Um, one of the main features I would personally like if you're watching Budandan is if I could add every single he hero to the roster. I think that's what you're doing right now in the background. Um, but personally, I will be building new six stars just for raids a lot of times. So I would love to be able to add um, all of these heroes right here, especially if it's already done on the back end and that cuts out the calculations. Like, what happens if Surin happens to be one of the best campers? And I don't know that. And I, I want to use Surin in places now. Um, I might specifically use Surin and specifically build Surin just because she's got like 47 uh, morale with a certain team or something like that. Uh, that's the kind of stage I'm at right now with raids. So I would love a feature like that. That would be insane. And I do think it's what you're doing already. So um, might me down if you want for that. But yeah, um, super appreciate your support for that as well. You are insane. And there's also, if you're wanting to give back to Budandan, um, it's over here, over here, it's coming. There you go. You can click this button right in the top right to buy him a coffee for his hard work. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Uh, and have a wonderful day and let me know if you find any unique and interesting teams in the description below because um, I would love to hear it or the comments below sorry one day I'll get that right but I'd love to hear it because I've I've been building Wanderer Silk because of this uh, and it's been really really fun using her so thank you so much have a wonderful day bye everybody